so we started with started with graphs today uh, so we started with graphs today so it's just a theory part which we always wanted to cover but never ever cover so let me discuss whatever i have written here so oh, as everybody sees graph is something which has a vertex on the edges and uh, the vertex is not a ordered list i mean there is no hierarchy graph is not a hierarchical structure so there is no starting point actually so any vertex can be starting point and this is a valid graph which has four nodes maybe one two three four still it is a valid graph this is a valid graph a single node and even uh, so we have directed and undirected graph so we represent something like this this is ordered and this is unordered so we use this for directed graph and uh, this one for uh, uh, undirected graph so there is no hierarchy of nodes Uh, and uh, let's say you have a graph. What would be the maximum number of edges you can have? So I just drew this. So let's say it is a directed graph. So you have an edge. Say there is no loop or uh, uh, multiple uh, edges. I mean, self loop or multiple edges. Self loop is something like this. Uh, edge to itself. Multiple or uh, parallel edges. Two edges going to same loop. So when can we have multiple or parallel edges? Uh, example: Multiple flights are going to city, same city. So that is represented as multiple edges, the same nodes. So if, let's say we don't have that, and uh, to calculate the maximum number of edges possible, just draw a uh, draw a uh, edge, draw an edge from source to all other nodes. So from here, from one to all other nodes. So three, from two to all other nodes, three, from four to all other nodes. Three from three to all nodes, which is if you if you take any graph, all the any vertex will have um, edges which is equal to v minus one. So number of total vertices. I mean, excluding it, it will have edges to other nodes. Uh, so how many times all the edges? So which is so if you take v is n into n minus one. This is the maximum number of edges we can have. It will be zero. Yeah, because this is a valid graph, so minimum can be zero. So minimum number of edges zero. Maximum number of edges in directed graph is n into n minus one. And undirected graph is by two, because you will be having multiple edges. Mm. So these are some of the uh, applications of graph. So it's just just I wrote. So whenever you see some map, city mapping, graph it is. I know this Nikon ladder problem. Then uh, this one, Nikon ladder. Uh, This core scheduling also, but those are like uh, in in depth implementation ways. On a broader level, if you see city map, social media, if you take Facebook, it is undirected graph. Like, uh, if I can give request, I can give uh, I can request to my friend. If he accepts, we both are friends. It's my direction. Uh, but in Twitter, it is like I can follow my friend. It doesn't mean he is following me. He have to follow me back. So it is direction directed graph. Uh, it's directed. So he was talking about how to suggest friends. So can we show friends of friends? So let's say there is one guy user one. He has some three friends. Three and four. These these guys have some two three friends. So to suggest, take all his friends, take all his friends, and uh, go one level or two level and show the suggestion. So that would be one simple way. Uh, then electrical wiring and uh, the computer network, somewhat similar. Then roads, roads. N H can be undirected and uh, internal roads can be directed. Web crawling. This is nothing but uh, directed graph. Like web browsing, browsing is directed because I might be able to go from this page to this, but it was may not be true. In some cases, it could be true. So it's better be represented as directed graph. Web crawling is nothing but visiting all the roads. I start with page one and it has say ten links, and I go to all those links. It might have another four links. I'll go. I keep on going. It is nothing but DFS. Nothing but DFS. So these are some of the applications of graph. And then we have some terms like path, walk, trail, closed walk. So path is uh, we call it a simple path or path. Path means simple path. No edge or vertex is repeated. Like there is no cycle. I start from here to this is a path. So it is directed. It's a path. Uh, walkers, vertices, and edges are repeated. What is just repeated here? Yeah. So this is uh, walk. So I come here, 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 here. Now these two are repeated. 
that's it. So these two are repeated. This, 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 this. If it is directed, it will not be repeated, right? Yes. If it is undirected, it will be repeated. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, the things are not like as for interviews. And they have something like connectivity. So uh, if a graph has a path from any node, uh, from any other node in the graph, uh, and it is an undirected graph, it is called as connected graph. So undirected views just connected. For directed views, the term strongly connected, which means okay, it has any node is reachable from any other node as a path. So we have something called weakly connected. If by converting some of the edges to undirected, if you are able to uh, traverse, I mean, if you are able to have a path from any node to any other node, it is called uh, weakly connected. Uh, and um, it is completely legal to actually. I was imagining only disconnected thing when they have tell strongly and uh, weakly connected, something like this. So this is a dis disconnected graph, and which is not strongly connected, right? Which is not connected also. So I was imagining something like this when they talk about strongly connected, but it may, may not be uh, applicable only for that. Still, it is not strongly or uh, connected. But if you see this graph, this is also not strongly connected because you cannot reach A from C. It's weakly connected by turning this to a direct undirected edge. You can. So this is also an example for a not strongly connected graph. So let's see the representations of graph. Graph representations. Some of the. Uh, these are some of the uh, most used uh, graph representations. Uh, edge list, such as symmetric and edge list. So let me start with the edge list. Mm, so edge list is very simple. We have uh, uh, two lists. One is vertices list, mm, and other is edge list. So we store all list of vertices in a list. We call it as just I kept it as list of strings. Then we have something called edge. Edge I'm defining as it should be vertex. I'm defining simply as string string and int right. This will be my graph. So here if you see I have uh, all listed all edges information. A B A to B I have an edge. A to C I have an edge. B to D I have an edge. To call a directed graph. So this will be my representation. And if you see memory memory is uh, equal to number of vertices plus number of edges. Number of edges can be uh, vertices square at max. So uh, the memory goes up to order of n square is the number of vertices square. So with respect to memory, we can't do much. And so let's take uh, how much time it uh, takes for uh, uh, finding the neighbors. The most common operation in graph is finding its adjacent lists. For a given node, what are all the nodes? From a given node, what are all nodes are reachable? So from A, B, and C are reachable. To find that, how much time it takes? That is the most common operation. So if you see here. Uh, if you see this, I have to traverse this entire edge list because say I'm I've been asked from A can uh, how many what are all the nodes you can what are the vertices you can uh, reach. So A to I have to traverse the entire list check A okay okay A B A C. So I have to traverse the entire list. So it is um, order of uh, uh, edge number of edges which is n square in terms of vertices. So it is it is so much. So our uh, best possible uh, thing will be we'll keep to we'll try to keep it. Uh, the operations somewhere around the vertices the vertices terms because it, 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 I mean if you see the number of edges can go up to square of vertices so it's, it's huge and then we have something called adjacency matrix so this is what my representation is so I have a b c d here a b c d here it is n cross n vertices cross vertices uh, matrix so if matrix is present I'm going to put one else it is zero uh, here I put weight and I found this like uh, I, I mean we can have 0 1 2 3 so that we can easily retrieve and we can ma map it like instead of int we can have something like vertices come vertices vertices can have uh, labels or something which which specifies that I will be definitely implementing all these representations uh, let's see that so memory again is sort of vertices squared n squared so time to find my uh, neighbor is V because I found this so I want uh, all the neighbors from A so I reached A I know where is A it's my 0 thing I have to travel traverse all to find if it is there or not. I can initialize this with minus 1. Uh, so in that, uh, here I have written this. I have uh, forgot to talk about this DAG. DAG is directed acyclic graph. It has a lot of uh, of the applications. Uh, so there is one such DAG. Then come, there comes the final adjacency list. So when um, uh, adjacency matrix when you use when, uh, when the graph is dense. So adjacency list comes. So here we have a list of vertices and a linked list. So this is something which I represented. So actually we drew like this, we draw like this, but the actual representation is something like this because it's an array. 
and each index like I'm mapping A to 0, 1, 2, 3. So each index is going to have a list of uh, vertices. It's actually string a list of vertices. So it is something like this. Inside this array, I'll store my array list. Array. I mean, I have to check if there is any any uh, advantage of using linked list over array list. So now if you see a uh, linked list, um, deletion cost list, list, then array list. So this is what, this is how it looks. So this is what I have implemented. So I will initialize something like this. Then for each of the strings, I put it as one. Yeah, it should be one. And then it should be zero or something like that. I am uh, initializing the array list. So memory is again in sky. Time is, I feel it's constant. Yes. As soon as I know I want uh, all these just for A, which is zero, I'll just go to this, I'll, I'll just return this elements of this array. So I mean the link list of the array. This one I'll, I'll be returning this. So I find finding all neighbors is one, but maybe reaching, trying to traversing or visiting all the neighbors is order of N. Because I have to visit all the, uh, but I, I'll write through this array, which maximum it can go to N minus one. Number of vertices nearby because let's say this um, this graph has just this graph this node has just do all the other nodes, so this will be uh, um, n minus one. Uh, let me implement all these representations.